<laughs> but I imagine if Ralph wrecks everything, Penelope fixes no, everything. And no, no, that's fixing feelings. So he doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> YouTube is Jay Cut here with Aztec Knight, and we're here to bring you the next top five video. This time it's not about music, nope. but this time it's about animated movies. Animated movies, but the second character to the main. Mm -hmm. So the sidekick, mm -hmm. what? Mm -hmm. The sidekick. No, well, not really. So. This week's top five is the top five of the best animated movie sidekicks. Damn. <laughs> That's my life. So the rules were that A, the character had to be more awesome than the main character. Number one. B, it had to be from a movie that doesn't really have a TV series. I know there's a lot of crossovers, but anyway, we tried to keep it strictly animated movies. Yeah. And the other rule was that they had to be awesome. Yeah, I mean, that's like an unspoken rule because everything we pick is obviously is awesome already. Absolutely. So. I cannot see in these. Yeah. And I can't see without these. Also, they're still kind of blurry. Number five! Nah, no. <laughs> okay. What? So here's our number five, Madagascar, the penguins. Celebrate your birthday by infiltrating the United States Gold Depository at Fortnite! Splendid! We love all the characters. They're great. But the penguins is why the movie was made. Like, they even had a spinoff, so it's obviously the better movie. Like, they knew it, they were better because they made a new movie without the main character. So, obviously, these are the best fair enough, out of, you know. But it's number five, so, you know. But why is it number five? <laughs> because it's definitely not going to be in all the other ones when it's all these amazing movies out here. So, it had to be five. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. These four, so it's, I mean, we're already starting off with a lot because we're starting off with four characters. But these four pink, is it four? I think it's four. It might be three. It's four, it's four. Oh, I can't remember. How did they make the list? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> These penguins, okay, they're definitely like smarter, they're funnier than the main characters. They are not phased by their situation, whereas like the main characters are all worried over oh, here now, what are we going to do, how are we going to get out, but they just always have a plan, they always know what they're going to do, and they just do it and they execute perfectly. And even when it's like crazy, they still like know what they're about to do. So this is why they're definitely better than the main characters, and this is why they made the top five list. Coming in in the number four spot is Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, Sam Spark. Your machine? Is that what that rocket was? Uh, you like it? So, it was a fantastic movie that he didn't see. Notice, I put you right on, just right under the bus. Not even, not even just didn't see it. He doesn't even know what it is. So that's really like, so he's not even a part of the situation. But we all enjoyed that movie. Even though, what's his name, Flynn Lockwood, that's the main character, like, he's hilarious. It's another one of those movies where the main character creates a problem and then solves the problem and then goes back to life as if they never had had the problem, which they could have just avoided from the beginning of the movie. Okay, just because you just saw the trailer, don't think you know, I mean, he's right, and that's every movie, but the that's side every character, movie. every movie, is that. Okay. Like, 90% of every movie. Okay. <laughs> Point is, Sam Spark. It's every mediocre movie. Definitely <laughs> not true. <laughs> Get angry. No, no, but obviously, Flynn Lockwood is hilarious. Like he's he's the main character. He's great. We love him. But I do think Sam Spark is just a little bit more down to earth. Down to earth. She's a little bit kinder. She processes things. She doesn't jump to conclusions. So like, if she was a human, I would like her more. I would not hang with Flynn Lockwood because he's insane. Whereas Sam Sparks was just more calming. So when she came around, she was more pleasant. And that's why I like her more. And that's why she made the number four. Coming in at number three is... Rafiki from The Lion King. Why Rafiki? Because he's a monkey. That's why. And an uncle. 
he's the monkey's uncle. He's the monkey's uncle. Literally. No. Yeah. That's why the monkey's his uncle. That's why that line was so amazing. Rafiki got the spot because no, first of all, Simba's not that likable. No. But if you had to pick a sidekick, I pick Rafiki because yeah. because of him, Simba got a chance to remember who he was. Because of Rafiki. They got a chance to take back over the kingdom. Yeah. Um, because of Rafiki, he grabbed the stuff out the air and sniffed it and was like, it is time. Yeah. So, yeah, like, it because is of time. that, then Rafiki knows the way. Yeah, it's like. It, he's the best. He has the best one liners. Yeah. And then that part in the end when he's like fighting, like he's the only one doing some real deal fighting with the, with the thing. <laughs> The thing. The melon, the melon thing. Yeah, like the melon. And I think, just side note, he lives in the like coolest, like treehouse type of situation. Situation. Like for the number two spot, we have Wrecking Ralph one and two, Penelope. Uh, hi. <laughs> I can explain. See, um, uh, I'm a princess too. Wait, what? Yeah, Princess Penelope Von Schwein. I mean, Wrecker Ralph is, I mean, obviously he's the main character. His name is in the movie, in the title. He's cool. I've never seen it. <laughs> but I imagine if Ralph wrecks everything, Penelope fixes everything. No, and no, just... that's fixing feelings. So he doesn't know what it's going on. <laughs> Um, but that Felix being said, had a sick day, so Penelope took over. That being said, Penelope, Penelope is, is kind of like fix it. We should have like a whole side note of that. She kind of is fix it. I am kind of curious to know crazy. what did Penelope do when all those Disney princesses were in Wreck It Ralph Part Two. But so he just missing out so many things. Yeah. Like it was phenomenal, but that's a whole nother thing. I just think Penelope has more crash, she's funnier, she's like sassier, she is a lot more secure, even though she has her insecure moments, she's a lot more secure, so she's just better all along, and she's cute, I mean cute things. I'm taking his word on that. Just better, you know? Number one, last but not least, Frozone from Incredibles 1 and 2. Super suit? What? Where is my super suit? I And I know what you're thinking. You picked him because he's black. No. Yes. That's no. not the reason. It's not her. <laughs> no, the reason why we picked Frozone is because he's a ride or die. Right. And if he had his own movie, I'm sure it would be just as good, if not better, than the Incredibles movie because he really did save the Let's day. Let's not go. I think we might be a little bit pushing it too far. I love Fro That's why he's number one. But I don't think he can do a movie by himself. Let's calm mm. ourselves down because there's Elastigirl, who I love. There's Dash, who okay, I Okay, I think you're love. making a different argument. I didn't say those other people couldn't have their own movie. I said if Frozone had his own movie, it would be great. That's true. But go back to the ride or die. He's so ride or die. Like, there's no... He's basically an uncle. He's not really... I mean, he's a family friend, but he's, he's an uncle. Yeah. Like, he's there. Like, he, he offered his house to them, like, multiple times. If you need a place to stay... No one does that. He did that. Look, all I know is, spoiler alert, all I know is that Incredibles 2, when that boat was about to destroy the entire city, he made the whole ice wall thing. Like, that was a whole thing. Was and whole it thing. saved everybody's life. And he's, he's very fast with his, like, he figures out what he needs to do to do what he needs to do to not die. Yeah. And not let other people Basically, he's the one who actually saves the day. Because yeah, when the Incredibles are done, doing what they're doing, stuff is in disarray. 
Frozone is the only one that's keeping everybody together, yeah. keeping everybody sane. So yeah. Frozone gets the number one spot, and he should have his own standalone movie. Hey everybody, thanks for watching our top five. And if you enjoyed that, uh, please give it a thumbs up. And if you had other choices of who's your favorite animated sidekick that's better than the main character, if you had a one that was better in your own mind, why don't you drop a comment, let us know, we'd love to see it. And um, also, by the way, we have graphic tees, so why don't you just hop check over to out. the shop, check them out. It's in the day. And, uh, What's it up? In the lane. In the lane. Get the, get the link. The, the link. The link. Whatever that is. <laughs> Go to the link and get it. <laughs> Let's try that one more time. <laughs>